Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we're gonna test out the gaming performance of the Coolpad Cool1. So the Coolpad Cool1 is the latest uh, mid-range phone from Coolpad and this comes with, with a really powerful uh, uh, device. I mean the specification looks really good. It has this 5.5 inches full HD display. It is powered by one of the really powerful mid-range processors, the Snapdragon 652 Octa-Core chipset and this is coupled with Adreno 510 GPU and uh, 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage so that's the device so we'll uh, play for three games asphalt 8 airbound uh, modern compact 5 and nova 3 and see if this device heats up and we'll also see the performance of this device while playing all these games in high graphic settings so let's start off the gaming performance uh, with uh, asphalt 8 airbound So you can see the gaming performance looks quite decent. Uh, we didn't encounter any lags but I could see some frame skips uh, here and there. But the overall performance looks good. It's a powerful Snapdragon 652 on this device and coupled with 4 gigs of RAM. So that should be good enough for uh, gaming. So we're done with uh, three rounds of asphalt 8 airborne. Let's uh, check the temperature. So it's gone to 45.5 degrees, almost close to 46 degrees after three rounds of asphalt 8. So that's the temperature. So it's uh, slightly on the higher side, uh, 40, above 45 degrees after three rounds of asphalt 8. And on the display, uh, again, uh, it's uh, closer to, uh, it's almost 49 degrees on the display. So you can see here it's a uh, 49 degrees on the display That's a pretty hot device after gaming. So you can see it's close to 51 degrees. So that's a massive 51 degrees uh, on the display and uh, that's a kind of high very high temperature I would say uh, close to 51 degrees uh, after gaming for just uh, three minutes uh, I mean uh, three games um, which we played in high graphic settings on asphalt 8 so there is a, a massive increase in temperature close to 51 degrees on the display and uh, 46 uh, on the rear panel so it does get warm you can uh, you can actually feel the heat uh, uh, here if you uh, keep the hand here you can just actually feel the uh, amount of heat generated after gaming so it does have this uh, heating issue uh, on uh, after gaming uh, for almost uh, close to 15 minutes now now let's uh, uh, play the next game the modern combat uh, 5 
so here again the gaming performance looks uh, pretty good no lags or issues uh, and uh, pretty smooth uh, overall performance So now it's gone to almost close to 54 degrees that's a massive temperature increase after uh, gaming so 54.3 is the temperature after uh, three rounds and now let's go to Nova 3. So now we are done with the gaming test and let's see the final temperature on the rear panel it's uh, uh, 44 degrees 45 degrees uh, occasionally so that's the maximum temperature and on the display uh, it was uh, pretty high it's now uh, uh, close to 49 degrees so it went up to 54 degrees so 48 uh, 49 is the temperature so it's cool down a bit after intensive gaming so definitely this device is not very ideal for gaming uh, talking about the gaming experience overall that was quite good uh, no lags or issues but the heating was considerably higher and we reached temperature of almost 54 degrees uh, on this device so it does heat up a lot on the display so it's not really ideal for gaming so if you play for almost uh, say for example 30 minutes or so uh, we played for almost close to 25 to 30 minutes and uh, the gaming uh, was uh, pretty good but then the uh, heating was considerably higher for any device in this category so there is a heating problem with this device and it goes up to 54 degrees on this device after intensive gaming so that was the gaming uh, performance test of the cool pad cool one so hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day